be no convictions, no convictions of any police officer for killing or assaulting Aboriginal people. This is how bullying affects a nine-year-old kid. Quaden, we're no doubt we're all thinking about you, mate. I'm, I'm sorry you've had to go through what you go through, but you've got a family there that are very strong and they love you, and there's a lot of people in the community that, that support you and love you too. I bring in uh, a strong message, a strong voice. Today, I speak in my cultural truth that children who are raised under this practice deserve only love, respect, dignity and acceptance. It's hard like a tsunami when you're told that your auntie, your, be your beloved family has passed away on a concrete floor in a watch house in Brisbane. That this officer doesn't have a chequered history for mine. If, if it certainly is complaints sustained against him, you would have to say he's had a bad day. And it must have been one, one day for him. Every day is a bad day for Aboriginal people. We're talking about near 50,000 years of human occupation in this site. Money can't buy this back, nothing can replace what is gone now. It all happened so fast. It's very emotional, it's um, heart-wrenching. This virus could easily render communities in a state of paralysis should it ever become an issue. Where is a safe place for this mob? Are we left out in the cold to die? And have you been concerned about the COVID at all? Yeah, we're staying away from people. It only took 99 years. I'm so proud to be the first, but I'm also the, to acknowledge all the Indigenous finalists and Indigenous citizens for the Archibald this year.